So what I've done here is I've basically taken Asterisk, which is an enterprise-grade PBX uh, platform, and I've connected it to Node.js, uh, and then I've used my Node.js script to query a uh, CouchDB instance that's serving up a Couch app that has Phono embedded in it. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's still a little bit contrived because I'm using a SIP phone. Um, it's not actually that contrived, but it, it, it probably appears that way because I'm using a SIP phone instead of a real telephone number, a real telephone call. Now my Astra server, it's pretty easy to, to um, provision some SIP trunks from a provider and put a telephone number in front of that. Uh, if I have a, an analog telephony adapter, I could actually plug in copper telephone lines, old-fashioned telephone lines into a device, um, and then this device would actually uh, talk um, via SIP to my Astra server. I could have a telephony board in my server and you know plug a channelized T1 in there. All, all of that stuff is possible with Asterisk, and it, it's really not that hard to do, but for, for right now, if I want to connect my Asterisk server that's running right now in my, my environment to a a um, publicly switched telephone network phone number, the easiest way for me to do that is actually to go to Tropo. Uh, hold on one second, let me just make sure my agent is no longer on the phone. Uh, okay, so my agent is now ready again. Uh, the easiest thing for me to do is to go to Tropo. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to use an application that we make available on Trouble called Agitate. Uh, Agitate is um, an application that lets you run Asterisk AGI applications inside the Tropo cloud. It's, it's pretty much the easiest way there is to provision a telephone number or a SIP address or even a Skype number for your Asterisk AGI application. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do here is I'm actually going to try and provision uh, a, a new phone number and um, just because I used to live in upstate New York, I'm going to select Athens, New York for no other reason than that. So I've now gone ahead and I've added, uh, looks like so 518, that's probably around the Albany area. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and update that for a sec. And while this sort of soaks in, um, just to sort of walk you through what's going to happen here. I'm going to dial this um, real world telephony number, and Tropo is going to send. Um, the TCP traffic from the Tropo cloud uh, into my home environment. I've actually set up a uh, firewall rule that will forward all TCP traffic on port 4573 uh, to my MacBook Pro, which is actually running this node script. Uh, and what, what this node script is going to do is it's going to hit my CouchDB server, get the uh, SIP address of uh, this Phono instance right here that is running inside my browser and it's going to tell Tropo to uh, make a SIP call to my browser. So if all of this worked I should be able to dial Let's see if I can do this, I gotta get my speaker Try it with my landline telephone first, and then I can always try it with a software phone. And there it is. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, hello? Talking, yeah, into, talking my, into my, my uh, old-fashioned uh, old landline, telephone. landline telephone, and I'm connected, and I'm connected to, to a, a phono, instance phono instance running in my, running web, in my web browser. Again, if I look, again, at, if my I look at my agent, agent, see my agent, see my agent is not ready. Let uh, uh, me hang up. Okay, my agent is ready for a call again. All right, so that's it. I've essentially connected uh, a uh, publicly switched telephone network telephone number through Tropo. Uh, it is speaking uh, asterisk fast AGI over TCP to a uh, Node.js client that is running in my 
local home environment. Uh, it is then hitting a CouchDB instance that is running also in my home environment, uh, telling Tropo to make a SIP telephone call uh, to this instance running in my web browser. Now, any of these components that I'm that I'm using here, even though uh, a lot of this was done in my home environment, as I just showed you, I can move the asterisk portion of this out to the cloud using Tropo. Uh, you can also um, um, you can also host your um, your Couchbase server anywhere, basically uh, any server really. Um, and, and in fact, you can also run um, uh, this Node.js script. You could use a service like Nodester, which is um, uh, a hosting service for uh, running um, Node.js applications in the cloud. So some, uh, none, or all of these components could actually be run either uh, in a premise environment or they could be run uh, totally in the cloud. It's completely up to you. Uh, so there you have it. There's a there's going to be a link in this blog post uh, to all of the source code. It's it's amazingly simple. Uh, but essentially, what I've just showed you is a a pretty sophisticated remote call center solution that's built essentially in JavaScript. So there really is um, essentially nothing you can't do with JavaScript anymore. JavaScript is, is a, is a first-class programming language that you can build some really awesome solutions with.